Hello everyone, this is CCC from Video Game Connection, and today I will be reviewing Breach for the Xbox Live Arcade. Breach is an online-only multiplayer game, war-based, very similar to the Call of Duty online component, or maybe in the arcade Battlefield 1943, or Blacklight Tango Down. Now the trial lets you play online, of course, because that's the only mode available. No campaign whatsoever. The game costs 1,200 Microsoft points. That's $15 for those of you that don't know. And basically, I selected a quick match, and now I'm waiting for it to load. It found a server. I'm just loading. Still load near. Well, this is quite a load. It kind of takes me back to the days of uh, Sega CD. They really didn't put much effort into speeding up the load time in this, did they? Okay, here we go. First impressions. Why is everything moving like one frame a second here? It says I'm going to spawn in six seconds. Uh, this is really choppy. Really, really choppy. I can see people are getting killed and I can hear gunfire. So. Here we go. I can pick a class. Uh, you can pick between two classes in the trial. And I think I'll stick with this. Okay, what's it doing? Just seems to be stuck here. Ah, here we go. Okay, we're in. Whoa, this guy's name's in red. Is he an enemy? No, I don't think so. I'm only in multiplayer games, your enemy is identified with a red name over his head. I guess in this game, that's your teammate. Alright, look at the textures break up there. Let's get out here and see if we can't find some action. Okay, just a lot of running around here. Kind of boring. Oh, that's my teammate again, isn't it? It sure is. Okay, let's see if we can find someone if I go this way. Ah! Well, no, that's just my teammate again. How about I just follow him so he doesn't pop up? Whoa, what's going on here? Okay, we apparently got some big time lag going on. I'm starting to think maybe I should make my own server here and see if the game runs right. We got a little gunplay here. Oh, I thought I was safe behind that. I guess not. That guy from way over there shot me down. Okay. Alright, so let's go. Whoa, what's that up in the sky? It's a piece of broken bridge. Just stuck there. Hmm. Oh, look, I shot it down. That's cool. Not really. Okay, we're running and running. Here we go. What do we got here? I'm going to get this dude this time. Whoa. Alright, something tagged me. Hey, what are these guys doing? They're lagging. Let's see if they can die. Hmm. Wow. I died. 
And that dude's still lagging. Alright, so I gave up on that room and I made my own server here on a snow map. There are multiple maps to use in the trial. Here's a weapons cache. I'll pick up a rocket launcher. No biggie. I test it out to see if it actually has any kind of damage on the environment. And no. As far as the graphics in this game go, they're okay. Uh, they're not great. They're just barely good. Uh, the environments aren't really uh, damageable. There's no nothing really destructible. Now, if I shoot this lamp with my gun, with a couple bullets, eventually it would burst. But with a knife, for some reason, the glass is impervious. With games like Battlefield 1943 and Blacklight Tango Down already out in the marketplace for the same price, this game's got some pretty stiff competition. Uh, I personally didn't care for Blacklight Tango Down, but Battlefield 1943 is awesome. And this game is directly competing with that. It seems the only way you're going to not have lag is if you host, which is kind of a bummer. Wow, look at that reload. Uh, overall, the game just seems kind of stale, boring. It's basically a Call of Duty wannabe. If you were into that kind of thing, you probably already own a Call of Duty or two, or even Bad Company or Medal of Honor. I don't see how this could really appeal to anybody, except the absolute fanatic that just wants something to do. Maybe he's bored of Call of Duty, a little impatient, waiting for Bullet Storm or Crisis 2. I don't know what else to say about it. Overall, I'm going to have to give this game a 4 out of 10. You guys can download the trial if you'd like. Give it a try. My advice to you, though, is to stay the hell away from it. And the most involvement you should have with this game is going to the game marketplace. Uh, going down to voting for this thing and giving it one star and doing us all a big favor. Reach is a huge disappointment. From what I've seen of it, it had huge potential. And in the end, when it came out, it ended up not delivering. This has been CCC for Video Game Connection. Thanks for watching. And please subscribe to our channel.